Do you want a build that's a complete terror on offense and defense? I'm gonna need you to pass that, Lonzo. When you came to the right video, I'm about to give you guys the best ISO lockdown build on NBA 2K25. He's doing it all offensively. You see me leaning and greening. Midi. And we're not just showing love to the midi, we're also pulling from three. Tracy. And what's crazy, this build can also dribble oh, and breaker. it can get on that rim. Mm. And that's not even mentioned the defense. You see me, I'm getting in them pockets. Let me get that. And you don't gotta worry about passing the ball. As you see, I'm running the fast break and finishing the play. Hey. And being versatile is an understatement. As you see me getting stops at the rim no, and getting my block by James on. Hmm, let me get so that. if you don't want to waste your VC and want a build that can literally do everything, stay tuned. Yes, man, it really is me. Who? Me. Mizzle. Mizzle. AKA the instant burner, man. Hey, mm -hmm. you two guys, I got you guys with an ISO lockdown build. It's pretty Ooh. much with this build, like I said in the intro, you're going to be able to pretty much do a little bit of everything. LeBron? Before we get into the video, to be greatly appreciate if you guys can hit that like button and subscribe if you're new, because I'm going to be trying to help you guys out when it comes to saving your money um, on VC this year, especially at the beginning of the game. Um, and also, before I get started, my whole goal of this build, I wanted to build that was random proof. What you mean? By that I mean I wanted to build that. I know a lot of you guys play with random. So this is a build if you if you play with randoms, you get on the game maybe one or two hours a day, if that, and you need a build that can pretty much do a little bit of everything because we all know random sell your shit. So you want a build that can do everything. You don't have to rely on them. You can guard ball. You can score when you need to. You can ISO. You can use screens. That's what this build is. It, it does a little bit of everything, like I said. Um, also, before I get started, if you guys feel like this is just a template, you know what I'm saying? This is how I would make the build. We're all different. If you feel like, eh, I would put more over here, less over here, that's perfectly fine, bro. You don't got to be in the comments being like, man, this build is ass. Yeah, it might be as to you. We all have different preferences. We all play the game differently. So this is just a template, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? So make the build exactly how you guys want to make the build. Uh, what we went with on this build, this doesn't really matter right here. Um, I always go left-handed though. What you want to go with, you can go with a, anyone, point guard, shooting guard, or small forward. Doesn't really matter. I tried all of them, and to be honest, you don't get like in in the other two Ks. You don't get any extra caps if you go small forward. You know, shooting guard, any of that doesn't matter in this one. Two K, they was on to us. So you don't have to worry about that. Me personally, I like to go point guard just so I have the ball in my hands, and just so you can dictate the game. You know what I'm saying? You'll be guarding ball, so you don't have to worry about. Damn, he got dropped off because I'm playing shooting guard or small forward. You know what I'm saying? When I got way better defense to them, and I don't got to get on the mic. I don't know why people don't have mic. Now, you don't got to get on the mic and be like, yo, switch, switch, switch. You're already point guard. You can guard the best player. So, me personally, I go point guard. What we went with, bro, I play, I tried all of them. The sweet, the sweet spot seems to be to play everything. To play the one, the two, and the three. Six, seven seems like the sweet spot. You can do a little bit of everything at six, seven. So, that's exactly what we went. With the way we went with 209, with the wingspan, we went kind of, kind of long you know pause just, just so you know you can guard some of these bigs a little bit so we went with seven one right there all right we're going to start with the meat and potatoes the defense on this bit what we did we went kind of od on perimeter defense what we went we went with a 92 perimeter defense on the bill which is going to end up having you're going to be able to get a lot of gold badges on this bill so we'll be able to really lock up anybody on the bill with the steel we went with a 91 and what's good about a 91 is if you want to, if you're a grinder, you can get your cap breakers, you can get it to 96, and you'll have Hall of Fame glove and Hall of Fame interceptor. So that gives you something to strive for on the build. So you'll be fine with a 91, but just in case, you know, saying so you want to go OD, you'll be able to get a 96. With the block by James, we went, we went with a, um, we ended up maxing this out to an 84. A little later, you're going to see these badges go up. But we put that at an 84. And what I realized is if you guys are trying to skip out on some, um, on some attributes, what you don't want to skip out if you really want to play defense i made this build a couple times and i made it with a little bit of vertical and i made it with a lot of vertical you get way more blocks you see me get that snatch block you get way more blocks when you have your vertical up and you know you get you go, you're gonna get certain badges too you're gonna get your um like your high flying denier 
raises the chances of getting a block when moving at high speed. That's gonna go up. You're gonna get a lot of these badges up if you put this at a vertical at a 74. So please, if you wanna play defense, that's one of them things I would not skip out on if I were you guys. So you wanna put that right there. Um, with the interior, we're gonna go with a 74. What that's gonna do, it's gonna put your, you're gonna have your paint, paint patroller up to silver so when people try to go in there and try to dunk on you're going to be getting a lot of those blocks knocking them out of you know out of position and all that type stuff we went with the speed the speed is going to be a 82 we're going to put the speed to an 82 right here with the agility we're going to put the agility up to a 80 what 80 is going to do is going to give you your, your pretty much your clamps your own ball minutes at gold if you put it down one it's on silver if you don't care about that you can put it down one if you want to but me personally if you're making this type of deal i feel like just go ahead and just put it at 80 nothing you know what i'm saying nothing crazy and your pick dodger is also going to be on gold on this build next we're going to work with the strength you want to put up your strength too if you want to get body ups i also tried this we're going to put this at an 82 i also tried this with a little bit of strength and with a lot of strength people they were just getting blow by and we already know with the past 2k when you have your strength up you get more body ups and in this game this game is kind of slower so when you body somebody up then you can reach you know what i'm saying you can get a lot of those turnovers so you want to be able to body people up if you want to be a lockdown on this game or a partial lockdown two-way type of build so you want to have that up <clears throat> right there next we went with, with the ball handle we went with a 85 that will, that will let you get a lot of the animation so you won't have any trouble dribbling the ball you'll be able to iso you'll be able to do everything that you need to do with the speed with ball we put this all the way up to a 80 put that at the 80 right there pass act you're playing with randoms. I know you don't want to pass like that. And I feel you. I feel you. If I play with randoms, I don't want to pass either, bro. But just in case, you just have to use your teammates, bro. We put this up to a 70 right here just in case you just have to use them. Um, we went with the three ball. We put the three ball up to an 80. Um, so put that up to right there. And we went with the mid range. With this mid range up to an 85. And guys, don't worry if you're thinking, mm, I don't know about that shooting. You know I'm the burner. I'm going to be get, keeping you guys up to date on low shooting jump shots all year long. So you're not going to have to worry. And I'm going to give you guys a jump shot at the, at the end of this video that I was using in this video. So just so you guys can have a little starter jump shot. So don't worry about that. But if you're new, you do want to subscribe, man, because you don't want to miss out, bro. I have some of the best some of y'all know i have some of the best jumpers in the community if you know put vouch in the comment section so you don't want to miss out on that and also click on that bell make sure it's on all so you don't have to worry about the shooter man you're gonna be good when it comes to the shooting on nba 2k25 um it's weird saying that 2k25 uh and with this right here you know last year we was able to skimp out a little bit you know what i'm saying finesse your build if you put your standing dunk up uh this year you can't do that, man. When you put your standing dunk up, look what happens. Your driving dunk goes up too. So if you wanna save some of your attribute points, I tried it both ways. You're gonna wanna put the standing dunk down and go with the driving dunk. And the thing is, if you're six five and up, if you're wide open under the rim, even if you had 25 standing dunk, you're still gonna stand dunk the game. St still stand dunk the ball, you know what I'm saying? So it doesn't really matter. So what you wanna go with this year, you wanna go with your driving dunk. So, like I said, we're going to put this. Hold on. I messed up somewhere. Where did I mess up? Um, oh, we put this down because I was trying to show you guys. So, you put this down. We're going to go with this. Put this down. Hold on. What else I got to put down? Put that down right there. And we're going to put that right there in an 80. Like I said, some of you guys might be in the comment section to be like, man, you ain't got no contact. No, this is an all-around build. When you make builds with contact dunks, taller builds, it takes away from a lot of the build. So, my thing with this build, I want this build to be able, if I if I, if I I do what I'm supposed to do when I get to the rim and I'm open, you should be able to dunk the ball. I'm gonna show you the dunk package at the end of the video, so you're gonna have plenty of dunk packages. You're not gonna have to worry about any of that. So that's pretty much the build right there. Like I said, I'm gonna show you guys the jumper in a second. Um, then the rest of them, you just put on whatever. You know what I'm saying? We'll just put it on free throw. Me personally, I only play part. That's why I didn't put my free throw up. Um, if you do play something outside of park, you might have to switch a couple things around. Shouldn't be too, too crazy to be honest. You know what I'm saying? So that's what you do. And what you're going to come out to be, you're going to have great company. Nate McMillan, Lonzo Ball, Drew Holiday. You know what I'm saying? National champion, champion Drew Holiday. Like, what's better? So 
You're gonna come out as a versatile stopper right here. And when it comes to the moves, these are the, all the moves that I was that I started out with right now uh, on the build. You know, these could change. But uh, with the jump shot, this is the jump shot I'm using. Like, and like I told y'all, bro, you're not gonna have any problems with the with the jumper, bro. Like, look, you're gonna have plenty of bases. Look, I, like I'm not even gonna go through all of them. Bro. You got plenty of bases. You're not gonna have any trouble. And like I told you guys, I'm on. I'm the the, the jump shot guru. I'm gonna get you guys right, so you don't gotta worry about the jump shot. Really Releases, look at all the releases that you get. You get you get a prefler of releases, bro. You're not gonna have to worry about anything. Look at all the releases, bro. You get plenty of releases. Tall Bills always got the best releases on every 2K, if you guys don't know. And you got and you got, you know what I'm saying, an Oscar Robinson we trust, you know what I'm saying? The best release on the game. You got that also on the bill, you feel me? So this is pretty much what I went with right here. This is the first jumper. You see, you see, it's an A plus. You know, I love my A pluses. You know, we're going with release because the jump shot is pretty fast, you know? So that's the jumper. That's the build. Let me go back to the, just in case you need the gameplay moves. These are the gameplay moves that I'm trying out right now. But that's pretty much it for the day, guys. You guys let me know is the build a W or an L. I can't talk. Also, don't forget to like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Because I'm going to be keeping you guys up to date and helping you guys all year long. And y'all already know who it is. Burn up.